Welcome to Mr. Kennedy's virtual lesson. I am, of course, Mr. Kennedy, and I am here to give you a quick lesson in today's math course on quick common denominators. You can see the target below here. Our target is simply, in your all's terms, I can compare fractions using common denominators. We've run into several issues here in the classroom, and that is the fact that we have fractions that have uncommon denominators. And the question is, what do we do with them? So, here's a quick tutorial on quick common denominators and how to solve our dilemma. So let's jump on over here to our little whiteboard here. And the first step that you want to focus on is finding that quick common denominator, or the QCD. Now we've got two fractions here. We have 4 sevenths and 5 sixths. Now, in order to find the quick common denominator, it's very simple. You take the denominators of both your fractions, 7 and the 6, and you multiply them. So the question is, what is 7 times 6? 7 times 6 is 42. Now, once you've found that, you then take 42, and we're going to rename the first fraction. Now, don't freak out. This is very simple. We're renaming the first fraction, which is 4 sevenths, as you can see here. I've just simply placed over here in 4 sevenths times and you see a blank over 6. Now where's that 6 come from? If we go back over here, that's what we multiplied 7 by to get 42. So you see we took 7 times 6 and that equals 42. Now as we know, the one thing we want to make sure we do is keep this as to equal 1. If it doesn't equal 1, then we got a problem. So we want to make 6 and bring 6 up here. That way we are multiplying 4 sevenths by 1 which is 6 over 6. All right, always make sure it's by 1. So we're going to take 4 times 6, which if we do that math, we know that equals 24. So we've now renamed the first fraction, 4 sevenths, to 24 40 seconds. Simple enough. The next step is to do the same thing, but rename the second fraction. Our second fraction is 5 6. Once again, I've taken 5 6, and I'm multiplying it by something over 7. If we go back and look, we got that 7 from the first time. That's what we multiplied to 6 by. So we're going to go over here. What am I going to multiply? 6 times 7 is 42. So what am I going to multiply the 5 by? By the same number, 7 again. So 5 times 7 is 35. Very simple to go with. So now we've gotten 35, 40 seconds for our second fraction. Now the question is, what's the very last thing we do? The last thing we're going to do is we're going to compare your new fraction, your new equivalent fractions. That's what we did. We created equivalent fractions. We're going to compare the new equivalent fractions. We're going to take 4 sevenths and 5 sixths, which have been changed to 24 40 seconds and 35 40 seconds. You can see them here. And you're simply going to compare them. Which one is larger? Now that we have common denominators, this is very simple. You know that 35 is larger than 24, thus making 24 40 seconds less than 35 40 seconds. Now that's not all for today's lesson. It is time for the math link. And the math link is a short little part where I'm going to ask you a question and you either leave your answer in the comments or if you're in my classroom you bring it with me tomorrow and I will feature you in the next video as having gotten the correct answer. So today's math link is very simple. What is the term for a number with a fraction and a whole number? Answer that question, leave it in the comments, or bring it to me in my class if you're with me tomorrow, and we'll see what we get. So thank you for joining me today. It's very simple, and I'm going to be trying to put these up each day for each of these lessons. Tomorrow's lesson is going to deal with the answer to the math link. So, have a nice day, hope this helped you, and I'm signing off.